Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts, and we're going to hop straight into a build because I finally have access to the uh, Modern Armor 2, and we have 12 inch Mark V guns right off the bat, which means we can do an experimental cruiser, which I think is. Uh, Probably going to be a bit like the Obamis, but uh, slightly different. Other things on the horizon, I am trying to get Radar 3 um, and the Mark V 14-inch guns, and that will trigger a general refit of all of our 14-inch armed ships. And then, when I can, um, I'm tempted to do the Super Battleship as well, actually. Uh, let's start with the... Ex Experimental cruiser, though. Uh, now, these things, probably about 25,000 tons, should be fine. Oops. Uh, so, compared to the... Oh, where is it? Yeah. Uh... So they're going to be smaller than the Obamis. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, they can go pretty fast. 32 knots is fine. Oh, by the way, I am aware that I forgot to put an auxiliary engine on the Kuma class. I will uh, fix that when I bring them in for a refit. Right, this thing gets cruiser towers. Um, so it's just going to look like a supersized cruiser, I think. Uh, mini tower. Really, it's just a super-sized cruiser. Uh, cool. I would love to get 12-inch guns. Hmm. The Obamis, how many do they have? They're mounting four triples. I reckon we're only going to get nine triples. That. A nine triples. <laughs> People are getting very excited. Three triples, nine guns, rather than 12. So they're a bit like a cut price. Cut price Obami. Yeah, they don't really have a lot of secondary mounts either. Hmm. This thing had a whole bunch of two-inch guns. What about uh, a torpedo launcher? Or two. Might be interesting to have it armed with uh, long lances. Uh, really, I can't fit any... Uh, I guess a couple of quad two inch then. Um, two, doo -doo, doo -doo. Fairly standard picks for me at this point. Twenty four in. Oxygen long lance torpedoes, and now it's complaining about them. Let's try and replace them. Yeah, they don't get in that way in the way that much. Uh, radar two. Constance rangefinder. Wow, we've got a lot of displacement left. Okay. Um, right, what's our new armor quality? Ah, 201%. <laughs> okay, let's just set it to 200%. Um, it only goes, it, the maximum you can get in customs is 200% in the mod, but sometimes you can get like little, little repeatable tech buffs that push it past that. But 200% is fine to uh, calculate what we need. Yeah, 12 inches of armor is going to be quite a lot, actually. Um, 
projects us all the way down to 10,000 meters. Going past that is going to be difficult. Let's go with a six inch main deck so that we're protected at range. HE only gets up to like two inch. So let's go for three on the extended. 1.5 on the extended decks. Uh, nice to get a bit more superstructure armor. We've not experimented with that, but I see this thing as, you know, this thing might get a little bit closer to enemies than we're maybe comfortable with, because its prey is going to be light cruisers, destroyers, heavy cruisers, things like that. Um, uh, three, one, five, one. Actually, it'd be nice if we could get that up a bit. Let's go three, three, two, one point five. There we go. And then same on the decks. So it's actually got good layering. Turrets. Yeah, we want decent protection on the turrets, which we have. And I've got loads of displacement left. Okay, let's grab a super diesel. Maximum bulkheads. Maximum range. Spacious. That is a that is a pimped out ship. Very pimped out. Okay, I'm gonna move the this turret back a little bit, give it a little bit of a fire arc. Because we have that luxury, same with a turret. Um, sure. Mizuho class. I, I kind of love it. It's, yeah, basically just a giant heavy cruiser. Hmm. Yeah, they're not as powerful as the Obamis. How much are they in price? Yeah, they're more... You're not getting as much ship. But what you are getting is... It's, that's a pretty nice little package. There's no... Real compromise on this thing. Which is very nice. Very nice blend of... Uh, attributes. What a nice hull. Hmm. All right. Yes. How many of these should we build? I will go and have a look at that. Um, I've decided to build 10 of them. So double the number of the Obamis. Um, there'll be 21 months to build. We still have quite a lot of port capacity spare. It's not a huge amount. Research-wise, we're getting there. We're getting there. We finished armor quality. Which is pretty nice. My priority is in range finders to get radar three. Um, and in big guns mm, to get whatever the next thing is. Um, I think we also have a little bit of... Do, do we have stuff still refitting? Yes, we do. Once these are finished, their refits. Um, also, the Isseis are now commissioning up which is pretty exciting. Once these refits are finished, four turns or so, um, I think we should have a look at the Super Battleship and get it building. Uh, it's now June of 1941, by the way. Uh, things going on in the world. Uh, we're still relatively neutral. Looks like Russia might come against us. And interestingly, Britain is no longer our friend. They don't like us anymore. That could be a very interesting end game. <laughs> Last war of the campaign. Although, I was kind of thinking it was going to be the US, but no, apparently it's going to be Britain. Um, Fleet-wise, obviously we are sitting on a very large fleet. Um, Russia has four battleships. The Germans have four battle cruisers. No battleships. Spain has a battleship and five battle cruisers. Italy has a battleship and a battle cruiser. Britain, though, is running around with 37 battleships and 10 battlecruisers. United States is kind of reversed from what you'd expect. They've got four battleships and 33 battlecruisers. So, yeah, Britain and America 
definitely the big dogs in the room. And uh, Britain's been expanding. They've been attacking the what remains of the Ottomans. They've marched across Turkey, <laughs> which is one way of guaranteeing access to the Black Sea, I suppose. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, if, the, if it comes to war with Russia, obviously uh, there's not much we can do about Siberia and Russia. We have to wait for the army, who are slowly trying to slog their way into Xinjiang uh, still. But yeah, I think we deploy a task force to the Black Sea, a task force to the Baltic, and a task force task force to northern Russia and blockade them and try and uh, eliminate the Russians once and for all. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to invade those provinces and lock them out, but we might be able to make them collapse. Although, look at look at Italy going. Uh, Russians must have pushed into Hungary, and look at this response. Unfortunately, multiple attacks doesn't work, but it looks cool. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, welcome back. Um, uh, the shipyards are free, apart from the uh, cruisers that I started building a moment ago, from your point of view. The, your point of view. The Akitsu. Hmm. Maybe. No, this is going to be the Akuma. Akuma. Because this thing is going to be massive. <laughs> How big are the Yamatos? They're 75,000 tons. These things could potentially get up to 125. Massive. Absolutely humongous things. Uh, I Wow, okay. We're going to go 28 knots. Because uh, that's the same speed as the other mainline battleships. Uh, obviously, we're going to go with the Super Pagoda. Why would we not? And probably the biggest secondary tower. Although, funnel choice may limit me here. Yeah. We need, we need deck funnels. Because we're going to need two of them. To push a ship at that speed, which means possibly just going with this tower here. Uh, it's a little bit odd looking. The other option is not to use the Super Pagoda and to use this one, which is almost the same. Hmm. If I use this and this, I can mount the funnels in it. Yeah, that makes more sense. It's a big superstructure. It also gives me secondary mounting points included, which is pretty handy. Right, gun-wise, uh, our highest Mark 5 is still the 12-inch, and our highest Mark 4 is the 18-inch. So tempting, it is tempting to go maybe 12, 18 inch guns, Montana style. But come on, you know you've got to try. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the big end game ship. You've got to try and put 20s on it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, 20 inch guns, lovely stuff. Secondary guns, can we fit six inch guns on these? Oh, we can. Oh, my word. <laughs> that is... That is fearsome looking. <laughs> uh, six inch and... What? Probably two inch, isn't it? Yeah. Basically anti-aircraft guns. Seriously doubt anything is going to ever get in range of those two-inch guns, but they're nice to have just in case. Um, sure. 
think things are going to get, start getting expensive for us very quickly. Modern 2, of course. Yeah, this is where the weight is really going to balloon. Uh, auto loaders. What is my flash fire chance? 1.4%. And mm, it's probably high enough for my tastes, to be honest. Armor. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Look at the pen on those bad boys. Okay, we are not armoring against our own gun. <laughs> Not a hope in hell. Ye gods. Even if I make them 50 calibers, it's not going to make much difference. There we go. Um, those have insane punch. Absolutely insane. I don't think it's possible to armor against those. So that means we need to pick a different gun to armor ourselves against. What does an 18 inch gun look like? Just plop one down. Um, uh, geez, they're also really punchy. So we're not armoring against those either. What about 16 inch guns? This is the thing I have found with the uh, dip later on. Yeah, okay, that's more like it. So, yeah, about 18 inches of armor on the belt is probably okay. Um, this thing has more or less has 20, might as well have 20. Uh, six on the four and a half belt. Let's just go 10 on the main deck. Uh, extended decks, maybe three. Three on the superstructure, 22 on the tower. Uh, the belts, we could shave down the belts. Let's go 4, 2, 1.5. And 4, 2, 1.5. Okay, that's more. Whoa, 29 inches of armor on the turret. Damn. <laughs> okay, is that a turret actually a significant... Yes, they are a significant amount of weight. Um... I mean, it's actually a perf perfectly reasonable amount. <laughs> but let's go down to 22. 11. 22. Okay, didn't say that much weight. Six inch guns do not need that much armor. Let's just go 6, 3, 3. And we're at 112%. Oh, my word. Right, can we make the. Citadel as small as possible, please. That's why I was thinking that possibly we might have to go for just an enlarged Yamato because this thing, fun though this would be, I don't know what I'm supposed to take off to get this to work. Because this is already fairly compromised. So I'd, lo I'd love this ship. This ship would be so much fun. But I don't think it's doable. Not with the 20-inch guns. They're too big. They're too heavy. Like, these are 10,000 tons each. That is 30,000 tons of gun turret. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so. In that case... I think what it's best for me to do is... Oh, are these not the same? Is it have to be an enormous? I don't want them to be the same height. Yeah, those look the same. Let's try... Triple 18s instead. Wow, that actually doesn't save me very much, does it? Oh, 
Wow, this ship is f fat. Fatty, fat, fat. Um, and you don't need that much armor, of course. Uh, will be one of the things. And I think 8 inch. 18 inch 50s would be fine. Um, yeah, let's drop this to 18, 9, 20, 10, 20. Still 7% over. Just a big, fat, heavy ship. Mm. Maybe I just need to completely reevaluate what I'm doing here because, yeah, that's up to 75%. What if we just went for 100,000 tons? I know it seems weird to be making the ship smaller. But sometimes it works. Um, uh, let's get the grab the super pagoda because maybe I can make it run on a single a single funnel. What about if I reduce beam? Uh, it helps, but not as much as I would hope. Really reduce beam. Minus 12, uh, reduce draft 2, minus 10. Yeah, there we go. And let's put it, to, let's call it 85,000 tons. That's much closer to the Yamatos. Um, we still have the fun and games of 6 inch secondaries. But this is looking a lot smaller. <laughs> and I think, yeah, it's going to have to be 18s. Hmm. Again, uh, did I? Can't remember what one I used on the Yamatos. Um, I won't have used the gigantic, will I? No. Let's use the huge. Okay. And yes, I know I'm essentially building Yamato again. Um, which might seem a bit pointless. Just build more Yamatos, but these are bigger. Uh, they will have better stats, I'm assuming. Uh, well, not necessarily, actually. What am I getting here with this super battleship hull? Am I getting anything? I don't think I am. I don't think I'm getting anything over the Yamatos at all. Fuck it, I'm just going to order some more Yamatos. <laughs> Seems like a lot more of a sensible thing to do. Excuse me, I'll be back in a minute. There we go. Three, three more <laughs> Yamato class ships. Because why not? They work. And they're not super heavy. And 
yeah, I really wasn't getting anything from that super battleship hull. Again, this is one of the things I would like to do in the future with the mod. There are a few hulls that just don't make any sense. Like, like that. Okay, sure. Hundreds of thousand, a hundred thousand tons each. It's great for invading. But they would be building just an invasion ship that was just a big chonk. Give me something more like Yamato, which is already huge. But, yeah, if I'm going to Going up to 125,000 tons, I want to be getting, like, something from it. Anyway, well, that was uh, somewhat anticlimactic. Um, I guess I'm going to have to wait. Uh, well, this is a Mark V 13-inch gun, but should have the Mark V 14-inch gun soon. I should have Radar 3 soon, and that means that we can get all the old 14-inch ships up to modern standard, which would be very exciting. Okay, welcome back. Uh... Mark V's acquired. Let's get into the Tosa. This is the oldest ship in the fleet from original build date. Well, the oldest 14-inch ship, I should say. Um, yeah, I think we might have to change her layout. So I'm going to take off the all the gun. Oh, no, not all the guns. I only want to take one off. Pop that back. Um, 14 inch 50 should be fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> for goodness sake, I don't think I have any new towers, do I? Oh, yeah, tall advanced tower 2. We can swap it for a tall advanced tower 5, except the tower up. that doesn't fit. You know, tall advanced tower. Four, though. Uh, they're the same. Oh, fuck. Rich out X or nine, uh, ten. Uh, yeah, okay, so we can get a slightly better front tower. That's nice. Uh, yeah, layout wise, I think the best bet is to drop the the turret down here completely. Um, perhaps... Anyway. Um, 16. Uh, let's go 16. 8. 16. These need more deck protection. Let's go 6 on the decks. Uh, let's get the components done as well. Triple base, very nice. Nothing. Let's do five, but bet five. Crypt three to modern two is a huge upgrade. Um, you can get diesels and oil three. Yeah, now I just need to fix fix the guns. So. Uh, well, let's try and keep her original layout to start with. Okay, yeah, 14s do not go on those. Uh, standard. It would be nice to keep her original layout. It's just, I think it's going to be a little bit too fat, but maybe we can. We can. Can oh we can well let's do that then let's not ruin the uh, ruin the ship uh, get that actually firing over the back let's get everything actually no put it put it back where it was it's fine yeah there we go Tosa's done that's a sizable up. Grade. Really sizable. For her own guns, she's protected out to about 15, 15, 000, 15 kilometers, something like that. And that enhanced deck protection. 
Uh, it's not super good, but it, it will be useful. Um, it's sizable, sizable difference. Uh, we don't have any spare displacement to try and increase speed or anything, so... Yeah, the only other thing I would do, maybe... But it, no, it'll ruin the look of it. No, we'll go with this. Uh, right, next one. All right, next up is the Sagami, which uh, hasn't been updated since they were built in 1920. So this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be a sizable difference. Uh... Uh, oh, advanced pagoda tower. All right. I mean, we're basically totally rebuilding the ship. Uh, yeah, we've got a better secondary tower. Might as well take these little little guns off. Uh, all right, we'll try, as I did with the uh, Tosas, to preserve the original layout so they don't look too different to how they did before. There we go. I don't want them to be... 55 caliber. I think 50 is absolutely fine on the 14 inch guns. Now, the 3 inches at 40, that's fine. And then secondary 3s, I guess. Although, did this one have secondary 2? Yeah, it should have secondary 2, shouldn't it? Woe betide any aircraft that think that they can exist near this thing. Again, not that that's actually an issue, but it uh, it does help your ships look a bit more realistic if you uh, if you do have the little uh, pop guns on it. Uh, okay, cool. Again, I think we should upgrade the deck armor. And the turret armor tops, as that has been shown to be a bit of a weakness. TT4, triple base, uh, all or nothing. And torpedo five, I bet five, crypt three to modern two. Uh, hydro twos, shaft two to shaft five. That's a lot of extra maneuverability. And diesels with the oil three gets us underweight. Perfect. Well, that actually was relatively easy. Cool. Okay, next vessel. All right, next up are the Karasawas. Um... Which, well, actually it's not strictly next up in uh, order because uh, these are actually the second battle cruiser. But these are the ones that look the weirdest. And I wanted to see if I could fix it. So we're going to get rid of that situation. And I'm probably going to swap, swap them to triples. Um, I'm going to take off all those secondary guns. Just going to see if we have, yeah, superior tower. We do. Doesn't fit. Does fit. Uh, tall three, uh, tall four. Nice. Um, yeah. So I could either do that or I could put the gun down here. Rather than having that slightly weird situation that they had previously. So, I try and keep the twins 
because I think the twins suit the look of a hull a bit better. Changed my mind about them. Oh yeah, take that off. Uh, we need a standard bobbit, I think. And I like a long nose on my ships, so. Uh, then we're going to need to put some secondary guns back on this thing. Again. Just use two inches. <sighs> right. Uh, let's go the other way this time. Oil. Diesels. Improved steering. Armour. Crypt 2 to modern 2. That is quite the difference. Uh... Auto loaders for your guns. Yeah, you go from a Mark III enhanced to a Mark V auto loader. Now, um, I'd like to enhance the deck protection on these ships if I can. Uh, again, we're just going to go with uh, 50 caliber 14 inch guns, otherwise, they get a little bit too heavy. And all right, ninety eight per cent. That's fine. Um, they've already got decent speed. Can we get maximum buckets? No, that's fine, though. I'm not going to mess around too much. Um, that's a reasonable upgrade for them. Okay, next. All right, I think this is the last one. Um, cause, oh no, sorry, the Akagis are gonna be the last one. Uh, second to last, this is the oldest battle cruiser, uh, 15, inch, 15 inch, 14 inch armed battle cruiser that we have. Um, I think we should be able to uh, get these to work though. Uh, yeah. This might be the one where we have to go to triples. So going from eight guns to nine. We'll see. Uh, are they three inch guns? Oh, this is the one with threes and sevens. Jazzy. Um, cool. Uh, got any new towers? Yeah, we could probably get the the four in. And this one is the ten, which I'm pretty sure is the best one. Yes, it is. But I don't think there's any space for these bigger guns on the back. So we're going to have to go with a triple gun arrangement instead. Now that's pretty much as far back as it will go anyway. So they'll look a little strange, um, <laughs> given that there's supposed to be a gun here. But I think it's probably the best I can do. Oh, actually, I know what I could do. Uh, there we go. Fill up that space <laughs> with some three inch guns. Um, cool. Right. Uh, yeah, we want enhanced deck protection and turret top protection because of, well, battlefield experience. Um, we want to give them radar, better range finders, auto motors, all the good things. Triple base. Love triple base. Uh, set off five. Let's talk five. Pop it five. One, two. And then 
Hopefully. Yeah, diesel running on high quality oil gets us under the weight. Beautiful. Uh, okay, actually the last ship coming up. All right, last one, the Akagis. Let's go to refit mode. These ones as well might also uh, get a swap to triples. Um, we got any better towers? Yes. The advanced pagoda tower. Instead of the small. It's a lot heavier though. <laughs> and we could potentially put on a bigger secondary tower. Um, those ones look super weird though. So no, we'll keep, keep that one. Um, in fact, I'm going to go for triple, so I'm going to move this back a bit. These five-inch guns are a little weird. I'm going to take those off for now. Uh, then we're going to grab a... Barbette. Start replacing these guns with... Triples. Boom. Okay. And these need to be... 50s. We've got a 2-inch gun. We can replicate those. And then, yeah, I see why I wanted to put in uh, those little 5-inches. Um, okay, we'll put them back. Five inch triples. That one doesn't fire properly. Just give me a regular, regular one. Although these things are so fat, that's going to look really silly. Uh, is there one that is a little bit more reasonably sized like that? They still look like weird mushrooms, but <laughs> it's not quite as bad. I think. I think I've improved it. Maybe. Um. Yeah, those square ones. Yes. Something like that. There we go. It's probably very similar to what I had before. <laughs> okay. Uh, they only need 1.5 on them. This already has... Oh. What do you had? Six and eight. That's quite nice then. Uh, Gen 2. Rainar. Autoloaders. Uh, triple base. Wow, okay, this already had a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the improvements that we would make. Anyway. Much of it being a newer ship. Gives me a lot of displacement back. Hmm. I don't know which gun it's complaining about. They all seem they all seem fine. Uh okay. Well that's interesting. What do we do with the extra displacement that we suddenly have access to? Uh maximum range and spacious. Sure. More speed. 34 knots. 36 knots. Oh, 36 is maybe too much. Yeah, 34. 34 is fine. Um, oh, hang on. Is that the exact same size? Because that gives me more funnel cap. 
Yeah, 36 knots. Wait. How is that really what it was at before? Um, we could do something with the layers then. Let's go 2, 1.5, and then 3, 2, 1.5. A little bit more armoured on the inside. Um, any other nice to haves? Uh, we could up the extended decks to two inch. A little bit of ex extra protection there. Superstructure to two inch. Um, yeah, I think that's it done. Right, I'm going to save this. I'm going to get all this refitting. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again very soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadlots. Bye for now.